it is a new year so I welcome you to a brand new rearranged dark band but in order to reach this point we had to start from this and it was a quite a lengthy process so let me show you everything that I did now if you are thinking why do I really need to change stuff here what is wrong with this setup actually this setup is kind of all right but there are some some things that are kind of bothering me and first thing is now as i build this as i'm building this junglearium you see the main thing there is some reflection in the glass and that reflection is coming from these lights here this one is lighting my face of course you see because without it look how it looks yeah okay it's not that terrible but this makes it look a bit better and also this light is for lighting up selective things on the table and I really need those lights and it is really annoying to see them constantly here behind in as the reflection in the junglearium glass but look what it happens you see looking through this camera there are those reflections and I have this light imitating the angle of the light relative to the camera because you will get it now as I'm moving the angle of the camera this light is no longer present and that will hopefully remove that so just by changing the angle I should ditch uh, these reflections that we have here of course these reflections will probably then manifest into these enclosures because I will move them on this side but I'm hoping that it will be worth it also what I want to do by moving these shelves on that wall I will have like a constant background behind me you see unlike now there is like the junglearium and you have these enclosures but in the middle you have this passage and I kind of I mean it is not bad but I dislike it I want to have like a one single wall that is behind me that in theory at least in my head sounds better I don't know and also I like to keep things fresh and this will definitely freshen up the entire area and now by using this wall for I mean this table with all the stuff I know what are the good things that I did and which are the bad things that I did so by rearranging stuff and optimizing hopefully I should improve the entire workflow at least I'm hoping to do that also I'm hoping to optimize the table so I can also stream more better because yeah I only did two streams but I want to do more of this and there are some things that are bothering me that we will hopefully solve during this video and the most important the best change in this environment in this room is check this out the sofa is back in the dark then I mean this is not the original sofa that I had in my apartment but once again I will have the sofa in the dark then I will put it right here where now the table is so sofa will go over there this table will go in this corner all of these enclosures will go here and I will get rid of this mess and yeah let's just begin a lot of work is ahead and I think that I will start by cleaning up this corner all of this stuff is needed because I'm going to attach the monitors the display on the wall I mean on the wall here and also I have a second display that will be just for for chat for live streams so yeah I have all the hardware needed to do that while this pile of wood will go into the other room where it will wait it's time to be placed into the junglearium I have a lot of plants you know ah, and also you see this pile of foam uh, the acoustic foam that will go on the table on the nut table on the ceiling to improve the acoustics of the room and on the floor I will put a carpet to further improve that although I think that we youtubers are stressing too much over sound and echo that you can hear in the video at least that is what I often read in the comments when I'm talking about the sound quality in the video the bunny whoa I love the bunny I don't love my mom or my dad just the bunny okay we are making some progress you see this corner is now uh, free from all the stuff now not only that I will just rearrange stuff now finally I will be able to fix these shelves on the wall because the reason why this shelf wasn't fixed and also this one that houses all the slings and this one I didn't put them on the wall because I still weren't sure 
where exactly I want them because I knew that I will be doing this. For more than a year this was on my mind. Okay, next step, I will put the acoustic foam on the ceiling. You see I already attached this piece just to see if it is holding on the ceiling well and it clearly passed the test and you can notice that I'm actually, I actually glued three panels together to make a thicker acoustic panel because just having this single thing it didn't really do much but now being this thick it should definitely make some difference so i will now start with that the bony the bony yeah i love the bony i gave everything that i had for the bony i don't want no health food when it's time to feed a big bag of bunnies is all that i need i don't want no buddies to come out and play all right all right we are getting there as you see this wall is now cleared and i'm free to move this entire shelf to this spot uh, even though I painted the wall, you see the paint is still not fully dry, but I'm not sure if once it dries, if it stay patchy like this, but this was the only way I could paint the wall, because even though my intention was to fully paint both walls, but <laughs> I just don't have enough paint, so I had to do it like this. Now, uh, let's move away all these enclosures on the table and move the, the shelves, of course all day i won't go to church and i won't go to school that stuff is for sissies but bunnies are cool It looks like reflections in the glass are bane of my existence because look at this as i moved the shelf with the enclosures on this wall look what you can see ah oh, i hit my back on the table <laughs> look what you can see now in the glass can you see it okay it's not that terrible but the reflection of these enclosures are is now visible in the glass ah oh, i didn't anticipate <laughs> the whole the main reason why i did this was because of the reflection and because i wanted to get rid of the reflection and now i have extra reflection because <sighs> but okay i'm hoping that inside of this enclosure currently i don't have the the light setup that i will actually use in this enclosure which means that the light that i will have inside for the actual enclosure for the actual plants will be it should be much stronger than the light that currently is inside so Hopefully because of the stronger light inside you won't be able to see reflection as much But I don't know, is the reflection bad? Anyhow, you see I also moved the table in this corner And now I'm not certain if I want to have a table right there in the corner Or if I want to move it a bit on the middle of the room I'm not certain for that I should maybe put the, the sofa, that sofa that I showed you, uh, it is going right there. So I should put it over there and see how it interacts with the table because that is super critical as I need to drill the wall for this place, for light, for this thing. Uh, I should know the position of the table, the exact position of the table before I do that. I also need to drill the wall for camera mount. Yeah, we all need to figure that out, but without the sofa in place it won't work. So yeah let me do that now uh. oh. Oh. okay 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 okay, okay. Oh. Oh. oh getting cozy right nice maybe i can move it a bit here yes excellent and now the chair hmm. it is actually not in the way but thinking thinking will this work like this i think it will the table will stay there and the sofa will stay there that should be the ideal and you see the wall this is not changing <laughs> i'm gonna need to buy new paint and repaint this entire wall in one go but in some other video i have more important work to do now and i only have a uh, less than a week to finish this because i need this video for monday i mean if you're watching this video then it means that i that i managed to do this work on time okay now i'm gonna mount the light and other stuff 
I don't love my mom. Mm -hmm. The spot is ready and now the, the most important thing. I need to figure out where I want to have the camera. I hooked up the monitor. Ooh, Inception. <laughs> uh, I hooked up the monitor so I can see it better. What is the angle that I want? Yeah, you can clearly... Oh, where are you going? Camera, don't fall. This is maybe too high up. I wanted like... When I'm standing like this, you can clearly see the junglearium, right? But these enclosures behind me, okay. Yeah, if I'm standing here, then you can see everything. So from now on, we will be doing videos like this. I will just... <laughs> okay, now. This should be all right. This should be the position that I want. But if I, if I turn it like... And I can do stuff here on the edge of this table and you can even see the, the sofa here. Hmm, is that really useful for me? I don't know. This is like when I'm sitting, maybe a bit too high for that. Now you can even see more of the table, of what is going on on the table. Yeah, I think that we have a winner here. But when I'm standing, you can barely see my forehead. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, this is it. This is the angle. <laughs> you can see the entire room now everything inside even this wall which i didn't really expect that it will be visible but over here on the wall i plan to put the frame with all the molds so it is cool that even that will be visible in the videos okay let's continue with doing stuff oh my dad just the bony the bony the bony yes i love the bony i gave everything that i had for the bony I love the bunny. I don't love my mom or my dad, just the bunny. The bunny, the bunny, yeah, I love the bunny. Oh, we are so close to getting this done. Now look, you see how I arranged the recording area? Let me just... Huh, you see, there we go. Now the reason why it looks so zoomed in, it is because uh, this lens is actually going on this camera, while this lens that I'm recording is going here. So yeah, this is the wide angle lens. But you see now, you see the idea, It is everything is so neat, because once I'm finished, basically nothing will be on the floor except uh, these shelves, but also in the future I will be redoing and improving that. But you see, nothing is on the floor, and also this shelf is going here, I need to attach this and also I will attach this to the wall and then basically I'm done. Now for attaching shelves to the wall I will use this. This is I believe called the French cleat system or something like that but this piece uh, goes on the wall like this while this piece goes on the furniture and then you just simply slide the furniture here and that basically locks it. It is super simple but I'm not sure if it will work in this environment. I'm going to try that out first before I make the same system for the other shelves because all three shelves will be connected like that. I already marked on the wall where I need to place it but I just need to mark where the exact holes will go. So I'm gonna move this away. Now I can figure this out. Mm -hmm. Making sure it is straight. I'll just do... Okay, perfect. Although there is one potential issue, look at this. You see, this is where I need to drill. But look at this. This is the electric box and the electric lines are running like... They are somewhere here, so I will be drilling fairly close to them and hopefully I won't hit the electric line. That would be kind of bad situation, but yeah, fingers crossed. Let's see if I will get electrocuted. Yeah, it's fine, fine. Ah, man, buying this drill was the best investment ever. I used to drill the wall with some basic drill, you know, and it was always pain and suffering, but with this, it's like through the butter. The moment of the truth. Oh no, the light is in the, the light is in the way. <laughs> Nailed it. That is it. It works, you see. Great, now I can do the rest.
so this is it this is the brand new rearranged dark den and i'm loving it i love that uh, when you're looking through this angle you can now see actually the molds here and yeah i basically feel like you can see more of the dark than now and um i will need to hear it while i'm editing the video i will need to hear it but it seems like the acoustics are a bit better although it is hard to tell now um let me show you some details but i need to change the lens on this camera i need to switch it with this one so there much better you can see more through this camera but a bit less through this camera right <laughs> even though i'm finished there are still some things that i want to improve in the near future but first let's actually use the sofa after a long time in the dark den video i am sitting down on the sofa oh this is the the historic moment for sure you're witnessing the historic moment ah great 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 now the the dark den is definitely feeling more cozy <laughs> you see now this is the behind the scene because this is not visible this won't be visible in my videos the table all the sling cups the two display the two monitors this one will be main monitor and over here i will have the chat when i will be doing the live streams you see this is with this device i switch the cameras on the live stream so that is a really neat thing to have uh, you see this light it used to be hanged here but now i moved it a bit further down and i angled it so now when i'm over the over something i'm not creating the shadow from that light you know and also this light will give more light here on the table and i'm not even sure if i will actually need this additional light that i used in my videos maybe this will now be obsolete but you see what i messed up i used to have this light mounted here but now since i built this for my pc now i cannot mount the light so that is a bit unfortunate but hopefully we can work around that and now you see how this cart fits here nicely but you see all of these cables that i have over there i plan to make a hole somewhere here and pull all the cables through that hole so they are not like this on the table but i'm still not sure if this is the final arrangement of the stuff on the table i need to use them a bit to see if everything fits and if everything is all right but I thought that something is falling. Um, once I use the setup for a month or so, then I will know where exactly I want to drill that hole and pull all the cables. So currently it is a bit messy, but I'm gonna tidy it up for sure in the future. And then uh, this cart will fit perfectly here, you know. On this shelf, I have all the batteries. Here I have the catch cups and whatnot. Here I have the lights the additional cameras all the gear that i occasionally need and use down there are the tripods but i want to mount them here on the wall and also under here i have another tripod and this is something that i didn't show you didn't really explain but you see when you loosen up this knob you can actually move it like this and i can attach the camera here on this thing so this will give me more flexibility when i'm positioning the camera for my videos here on the table although i need to use it a bit to to see where and how to to utilize it the best here to the left of me you see i mounted this plush spider that i received from patreon a long time ago also here are the molds but i want to improve them i have a bunch of different molds that i didn't use here and the majority of these molds are kind of messed up so i want to definitely tidy up this i want to make like a new display or bigger and a bit better currently this is a styrofoam board but i want to replace it with foam to additionally improve the acoustics here and you see in this spot i will put more of these panels but definitely these panels are improving the the sound in here you see i have three sections of them and i want to add the fourth and i need to fix this hole i forgot about that and also to improve the sound and the overall prettiness of the dark den i want to have a carpet right there so yeah there is always something to improve something to change in the dark then there is always some work but this was a major milestone and i'm super happy with all the work that we did here so with that being said with that being done i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe apple every monday and hopefully live streams on friday from not from now on but soon uh, see you again soon bye